Hello you and welcome to a gigantic horde of orcs. We're about to take on the forces of Zeench in a gigantic head-to-head -head battle. Will the changer of ways be able to defeat the ruthlessly savage orcs? As always, if you do enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing, as that's the best way to support the channel. Now, let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, kicking off today's battle of monumental proportions. We've got orcs on the right, chaos on the left. Who is going to win in today's absolute slugfest? Because this is going to be real brutal already. You can see these front lines developing straight away. Bullets are ripping overhead from the DAC and from the Orcs. We've also got a lot of uh, Chaos Gunners here on the field. Now, there's two interesting points to be fighting over here. We've got this one little farmstead here, and we've also got this other little farmstead. These are probably going to end up being focal points for the battle. But at the moment, it is just going to be a real brutal struggle on this front line. As both forces try to outflank and outmaneuver each other, the Orcs on the front line clearly have the upper hand with some of their melee capabilities. Storm Boys and Mega Knobs all reaching to the front. However, the Chaos do have Marauders and even a few aspiring champions hidden somewhere at the back. Doesn't look like the Chaos forces are trying to overlap here. The Orcs, and they are having a little bit of success. However, the more and more that they push around this flank, the thinner and thinner their forces can get. Already, the Orcs have amassed a large group of forces and are indeed trying to recapture that flank. It is all going to end up here at the river. Let's scoot over to the other side and go down our insane battle line. Look at this. A true Warhammer battle line stretching off into the distance here. The Orcs up for a damn good fight. Chaos up for changing their minds. <laughs> oh my god, look, the Orcs are actually already pushing into the village just a little bit here. They've captured the outer wall. Chaos trying to get forces in there. They need more marauders to that front line. They are the strong units. They have got a lot of renegade gunners who are also melee specialists. So these two types of renegade gunners. We've got the melee ones. We've got the ones who are standing back and shooting. Look at the size of their forks though, man. Absolutely gigantic beasts of war. Go over to our far flank on this side to see what's happening. Looks like the Orcs managed to capture the hill. But the Chaos here holding their ground. Got a bunch of Marauders on the front line. That's real good. They can actually hold a little bit against the Orcs here, comparative to the Renegade Gunners, who are just a meat shield on the front lines. Chaos here have actually got a really nice amount of these uh, Marauders on this side. Does look like we're going to have a little bit of a natural defense as we get to this side. So forces are going to have to start pushing around this flank. We're going to get some real interesting battle on this side. Let's go back over here though, because I'm really interested with all these marauders here. And it looks like a lot of the orcs are actually falling down the cliff at this point. And they're getting sliced up by the marauders as they go down. Oh, that's so brutal. <laughs> but look at the Daka flying overhead. The teams here just railing into each other. Definitely looks like the Orcs have got more units ready and waiting on that front line. But if we've seen our older videos, we know that Chaos has this little tactic of keeping a bunch of melee units back, just in case of desperate times. Whereas the Orcs are all about the wire, they're just going to throw absolutely everything at it. And we've already got this lovely body pile starting to fall in the centre here. Neither side really making any gains. This is, of course, a battle of attrition. And I don't know which side is going to win that one. The Chaos did have slightly more units than the uh, Orcs, but a lot of them are these Renegade Gunners, and as I said, they're not exactly the best units on the battlefield. However, the Marauders are not to be trialled with. <laughs> they are pretty damn deadly. This front line has developed really nicely, though. It definitely looks like the Orcs are making gains here. They have pushed forward. They're also doing it here as well. Look, they're actually going into the village a little bit. Piling up their bodies, trying to get over that wall. Chaos, though, have not faltered just yet. They've got enough units to keep throwing at this. You can see every now and then all these units just filter through the gunners. The gunners are having a bit of a field day at the moment, railing on these orcs as they come over the top of the corpse pile. Let's scoot down the line. Oh, have we got... We have... Little Timmy be praised, ladies and gentlemen. The sort of corners here. It's time to get out his rubber dinghy already. That is a very quick blood lake that we've had forming here. 
The Orcs doing a fantastic job pushing forward. The Chaos, though, just throwing units at it, trying to slow them down, let them Chaos Gunners do the work. Have the Orcs found a crack in the armour here, though? Looks like there's a very thin splattering of melee troops from the Chaos. They have got units coming in, but there's a bunch of juicy Gunners there, ready and waiting for the Orcs to go choppy-choppy on. Let's go and scoot over to our far flank. Right, these trees are getting in the way a little bit. So, what actually happened over here? Oh, it looks like the Orcs managed to just about put off the chaos from outflanking them. And now the Orcs have got a lot of forces in this area, ready to push around. And it actually looks like the chaos have got a load of reinforcements. Both teams here putting a lot, a lot of firepower into these flanks. Whoever takes this flank over here is going to basically probably win the game, actually. Because that has a lot of units on both sides. The rest of the combat line is formed. But over this side, there's a large bulk of units behind each crew. So this is truly an attrition battle on here. Who's going to have enough units to get into the breach? The Chaos Gunners are laying a lot of smackdown at the moment. But having said that, so are the Orcs. Now the difference here is, is that the Orcs actually have a bit of better range and slightly more damage, but with worse accuracy. The Chaos Gunners have to get way closer to be able to shoot, and they do less damage. But, of course, they are slightly more accurate than the Orcs. I love this little blood lake here. We are fertilizing some plants today. Oh, that is an absolute scene there. That is fantastic. The Orcs, though, coming up to 300,000 kills. The Orcs coming at the uh, Chaos coming up to 160. And it does look like Chaos managed to breach that front line. And is now smashing its way through the Renegade Gunners. The support line here and network for Chaos is definitely under threat. And more and more Orcs are just pouring into this breach where they can. Here, let's have a look at our body pile while it's still available to us. That was a brutally fought front line. But the Orcs did capitulate the front melee line of Chaos. And now it's open season. However, what has happened is... Half of the Chaos Gunners can't actually shoot because they're not close enough to the front line. As the Orcs are pushing into these Chaos Gunners, more and more Chaos Gunners can actually shoot them. And now count how many times I've just said Chaos Gunners in that sentence. The Orcs here, having pushed down, have actually capitulated the front line of Chaos over here too. Yet again, Chaos Gunners up for grabs. The Orcs storming right into them. Chaos is looking a little bit wobbly in the melee lines. Uh, on the middle lines. The flanks are looking a little bit peachy, however, especially over this side. Chaos forces looking like they've got plenty of forces here to deal with this orc horde. Look, there's hardly any orcs comparative to the amount of chaos over here. The chaos might actually win that flank. But yeah, this melee line is the only thing that's holding the orcs back from a full-on swarm now into all the gunners. And this is brutal. Already about 70,000 of the Gunners have probably been killed here. But it's probably not that bad. He's a good 20,000 of them. But the Orcs are pushing in <laughs> relentlessly, man. They're not giving the Chaos a second to breathe here. You can see every now and then a melee troop makes its way to the front line. The Chaos really need to get a good gaggle of them together to actually stop this Orc advance. What we really need is for the aspiring champions to make their way forward now. That would be very good. Actually, look, speaking of, here they are. The aspiring champions are about to make their way into the front line. This could be the changer here for Chaos. This could be the thing that Chaos needs to actually start forming the defense again. Because the Orcs have just been romper stomping up and down the line all over the Chaos Gunners. You can see the village. They've actually started pushing past it now. The Orcs capturing the village and just storming into the Chaos Lines. How are we doing on the far flank? Yeah, it's a similar fare over here. Not enough melee troops on the front line for Chaos. However, look over here. The Chaos still do have quite a few melee troops over here. And they are pouring them into this breach. So it looks like the Chaos Gunners are really stopping a lot of the melee troops from actually making their way forward for the Chaos. But that is starting to change bit by bit by the looks of it. We are getting more and more marauders starting to appear on the front line. Our Chaos pulling off their old tactic of just keeping back just enough melee units to be able to counter charge in the late game. I mean, they, they need to do it now, if ever. 
because these orcs are just eating up everything in their path. We've got some magnificent blood lakes under this that we can inspect after the battle. This front line has just been brutality unchained. It does feel like the Chaos are actually starting to get some melee presence on this front line going. Little by little, we can see these gaps starting to appear between the Orcs and the actual Gunners. Look at that. What a sight to behold. The insanity. So it does look like we've got a real nice group of uh, Chaos Melee again. Yeah, look at this one. Oh, that's an actual front line here, led by the aspiring champions. Carving a path through the Orcs now. Oh my god, them aspiring champions are so deadly. They are just mincing up the Orcs. Have they got enough to counter charge though? It is giving the Chaos a little bit of breathing room in this area. More and more Chaos melee troops again, making their way to that front line, trying to stem the Horde. And the Greenskins here are actually falling for it, trying to take down these aspiring champions. There's no simple feat. But yeah, again, as more and more of the Chaos Gunners have died, the melee troops have just been able to surge. And look at that. There's a lovely little channel here. We are definitely getting some form of counter charge starting to emerge. How are we doing on this flank? We haven't checked in in quite a while. Looks like the Orcs actually managed to push down and over the hill, but they are paying the price for it heavily. They're taking stupendous losses over here. Kind of looks like Chaos might break this flank pretty soon. What's going on over this side? Oh, so we have got a bunch of Orcs over here trying to make their way down, but Chaos are counter charging up the side of the cliff. Here, yeah, so we've got a lot of Dakar on this cliff, just leveling it into our boys on the Chaos side. But reinforcements are running it thin for the Orcs. Attrition is starting to set in. Chaos is going to capitulate this line real soon. Unless some of these Orcs start actually making their way back around here. But it has been a painful fight on that side for the Orcs. Yeah, this Chaos melee line is really starting to develop again. They've actually definitely got a melee group here. Look at all the Gunners now. They've got a lot of breathing room. Marauders on the front line again. Let's go check on, you know, on them aspirants that were in the village Because they have just completely halted this green skin horde now They haven't actually really pushed them back that far, but again, it's enough to give chaos a little bit of breathing room More marauders have made their way to the front line. Let's go check on how deep this is as well now because oh my god little Timmy Get out your aircraft carrier, quite frankly. That is a gigantic blood lake. You can see all the Orc Daka now starting to stand on the piles of dead bodies from the previous front line. Which gives them a really nice firing platform here. But this has actually become static over this side. Again, look, we can see these little gaps appearing. Where Chaos is definitely getting melee groups onto that front line. This seems to be a stalwart tactic for Chaos. And it's been really effective in every battle that they've actually been able to use it. Where it just seems like the enemy use all their powerful units up real quickly. Trying to actually uh, push the Chaos back. And then the Chaos just come back with some superior heavy unit in the end game, Having saved it and just capitulate the enemy. Speaking of capitulating the enemy. Chaos here have completely cleaned out the far right flank. Let's actually go have a look at the other. Oh my god, look at this one! Completely missed this, and he's deep enough for little Timmy's rubber dinghy. Oh my! This is some insane blood lakes that we've made over here. We've got so many of them. But this is the flank I wanted to see what was happening. Because, yeah, look at all these orcs over here still. The orcs, stupendous amounts of forces. No more reinforcements coming in for chaos now. Does look like the orcs might have the upper hand on this side. They're going to be able to push through, and there's not that many Renegade Gunners either. And like I said, that's a large force that they've actually got over this side. Are there any aspiring champions that we can see on the front lines? No, I can see a lot of Marauders, but no aspiring champions. It does seem that all the aspiring champions were focused on the village in the centre. It's hard to tell who's winning here. Both forces only have about 100,000 left. 
it could go either way. <laughs> again, it feels like the Orcs have started pushing forward again on this side. A massive amount of losses are being had, but it's an attrition game. And the Orcs are running out of forces. Oh no, the Orcs have run out of forces. Chaos is about to smash through the lines here. More and more reinforcements from this side are going to have to pour down to this way. The Chaos are going to get a purchase. Breaking through the centre lines, which they have done. The Orc shooters are now up for grabs. Chaos returning the favour after having a load of their own gunners cut down by the Orc melee troops. But the Orcs are not out of the fight yet. Oh god, that's a lot of chaos now. Coming down from the hillside. It does look like the Orc forces have lost complete control of this flank. Chaos wrapping up all the gunners. Taking out as many as possible. And they're now trying to wrap their tendrils around the rest of the Orc forces. Who've got virtually no melee combatants left. 60,000 Orcs, 80,000 Chaos. I cannot call this either way. The Orcs have still got a heck of a lot of forces on the other side of the battlefield. And if Chaos aren't careful, they might end up in a pincer maneuver here. If Chaos push into the centre too much, these forces down this side might actually be able to wrap around. Because they have now officially broken through the Chaos line and are attacking the Gunners. I really don't know who's going to win this. <laughs> this could go either way. It's a real nail-biter. The Orcs are slaughtering it. so many of their Chaos so quickly. But the Chaos are just keep breaking through these lines. These Blood Lakes forming natural barriers now. Which is helping the Orcs to defend a little bit. But it does feel like Chaos has won most of the combat line down that side. However, they've still got a large force of Orcs over here as well. It's just such sporadic fighting. Though all these Chaos forces now are going to make their way down here. And I think we're going to get a battle that's got us to go this way. Could be quite interesting. We have completely ruined the real estate value of these houses, however. They are now covered in mushroom spores and corrupted Chaos corpses. And not to mention some lovely blood lakes. We have built them all a pool. God, look at that battlefield, man. There's corpses everywhere. So what we need to keep an eye on then is the orc forces down this side. They quickly need to capture this flank, get rid of these orc gun uh, the chaos gunners, and then start actually wrapping around these guys. Otherwise, they're not going to stand a chance. It does feel like, again, they're running out of troops. We have got that Dakar still on the rear line. But they're distracted at the moment. As they've got a bunch of marauders making their way towards them. And a couple of aspiring champions, yeah. These guys have the right, right idea. They wore the brown pants. <laughs> because that's what you need to do if an aspiring champion comes at you. But the Orcs are not down and out for the fight, yeah. 30,000 left against 48,000 Chaos. Again, not all of the Chaos are super strong, so the Orcs still do have a good chance. You can see they're just mincing their way through the Gunners. And they are actually starting to uh, outflank them quite a bit here. Wow, man. I love these Blood Lakes, actually. With, uh, with some of them all clear now, let's go inspect the battlefield just a little bit. Because that is some magnificent corpse architecture. <laughs> this is funny, that Oh, I love this game. <laughs> Look at all this as well. Let's go have another. Wow. That is definitely aircraft carrier territory. No matter where we look across this battlefield, there is just corpses everywhere. <laughs> look at this body pile as well. That just goes down the entire combat line. I know we're missing the last parts of the battle, but we'll go scoot back over now. Because, yeah, I just wanted to have a look at the uh, the insane battle that we've got going on here. What's going on? Oh, we've got a bunch of chaos chasing down a couple of uh, gunners over there. But yeah, we are down here now to the last remnants of the Orc army. 23,000 of them against 40,000 Chaos. Like I said, actually, I really couldn't call this still. Okay, the Chaos have got a lot of marauders on the front line, but these Storm Boys deal a lot of damage. We have still got a couple of Mega Nobs as well, and they got them guys deal AoE damage. 
Yeah, I really couldn't call this, guys. It does feel like the, the Orcs are losing ever so slightly, but they're also outflanking the Chaos here now. And they are just wrecking them. Oh my god. That axe is just cleaving at Chaos Folk and Thwain. The Chaos trying to back up, but more and more Orcs are pouring around. Yeah, the Chaos are getting a bit enveloped on this side now. The Orcs down to 17,000 units, but they're quickly catching up with them kills. These Marauders, though, are really strong. They cannot be underestimated. And the Chaos still still have aspiring champions on the field. Luckily, half the Chaos forces are chasing down one or two Orcs across the desert. So the Gunners are just going to be laying down firepower into them boys over there. But yeah, look at this, the Orcs really starting to level that playing field. They've actually gone through most of the Gunners now. Too many of the Orcs are off trying to chase individual Gunners. We need the Orcs to stay together, lads, come on. Oh, that's it, they're going to poke the beehive over here. That's it, they've awoken the Chaos Stingy Swarm. Bunch of Orcs now going over here. They're going to feel the pain. Oh boy. Come on, guys. You need to capitulate this Chaos Force real quick. Real quick. Oh, no. The Orcs are having a bit of a shooty-shooty match here with the Chaos Gunners. Who's going to win this one? The Orcs are a bit more compact than the Chaos Gunners are. Plus, the Orcs are having to also deal with melee units charging them. Which they will focus over the, the Gunners shooting at them. God, man. This is insane. Come on, guys. The Orcs have almost got through this group of Chaos Warriors. They're trying to do it, man. They're trying to do it. Yeah, the rest of the Chaos now engaging with the Orcs down here. A new combat line is forming now. For how long? I'm not quite sure. There's not that many Orcs in here. They have just pushed out at the wrong time. And met all of the Chaos Gunners. They needed a concerted effort from the rest of them. We needed to get rid of all these Marauders if the Orcs wanted to have a chance. But unfortunately, I think too many of the Orcs have now perished. Man, oh man. That is just an insane pile of bodies. Look at all this blood and bodies everywhere. No matter where we look on this battlefield, it is grim. But what I think we'll do is we'll just quickly time-lapse this last little bit here. Because we've got 2,500 orcs remaining. And we'll be back in a second. Well, here we are. The last 30-odd orcs. The chaos capitulates. The aqua... aqua arc? I don't know what an arc is. An aqua. It sounds like I'm from Yorkshire. Uh, we've defeated the Aqua, and now we're going to go on to serve to Emperor. <laughs> or maybe not, because we're Chaos. Yeah, anyway, we can call this one here, ladies and gentlemen, because that is a magnificent battlefield. Let's just zoom out just a little bit here, because look at that corpse. Man, we've made a trench here. Technically, we've made a river. In a few hundred years, these will turn into sand dunes, and that'll become a gigantic river. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, good things must come to an end. I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the amazing Chaotic Pinky Store. We've got some really cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.